Welcome to a new video in our Fusion 360 Electronics Dive In series. Today I would like to show you how to work with variants. Fusion Electronics offers an option to create assembly variants. It's very simple, but it works for a lot of cases. If you go to the document menu, you see a variant icon. Click it and the dialog will open and shows you the main assembly variant. So that's something um, these are all components you have in your current schematic and board. Now, how to define a new variant? Simply click New and type in a new name. I name it V1. Here it is. You see a new table with check marks, with value and technology. And now I can decide which of the components should be populated. Let me choose, let's say, C2 shouldn't be populated, so it's unchecked. And for C3, in this variant, I would like to have 100 microfarad, different value. That's it. And you could also change technology. If there is a defined technology in the library, you could change it. And so let me just also, uh, let me create another one. New, let's say V2. And I could decide, should it be copied from assembly variant from a default or from v1 i would like to copy it from v1 now you see i have a duplicate of v1 and i could change further options here and say okay this one is not populated t c4 and c5 okay now if this is done i'm back in the schematic it's defined now and at the moment I'm sorry, I have to say, you do not see which variant is selected. There is no way to, sh to, to have this display that something that has to be improved. But how could I change variants? Well, you know, I have the command line and I'm sorry to say, but you have to type in variant and select V1, for example, and hit the enter key. And what you see now, it switches the variant and you can verify. You see here, for example, C2 is crossed out, which means it's not populated. It will not appear on the board or in the uh, in the bill of materials. And I can switch variants again. So I click into the command line. I hit the arrow up key. Now I get back my previously entered command. Delete one, set to click, changes. And you will see that other uh, capacitors are crossed out. And for the other one, we have 100 microfarad. I just don't see it at the moment, but it's done. Here it is on the right hand corner of my drawing. How do I get back to the main variant? Again, click into the command line, arrow up key. It comes back the recent command. I delete V2 and now I have to enter an empty variant, no name, which would be two single quotes. And hit enter and I'm back in the main assembly variant. So that's how to define it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps a bit. Stay tuned.